Hello guys! Today I'm going to be talking about adding new plants and rocks to your tank. I've talked about gravel rocks, now I'm talking about more rocks like that rock. I know you're thinking, I just bought some new plants, that uh, burgundy one and that tall green one. These other plants were here. I know what you're saying, this setup looks really ugly at the moment. But don't worry, I just added them in an hour ago, so I still have to do some stuff to make it look better and everything. You can see that's my pleco in there, bristlenose pleco, guys. So, yeah, it's not going to get two feet or anything. Bristlenose plecos get about five inches. If you want to know how to care for a bristlenose pleco, I do have a video on that. Click on my profile picture down below. And pretty self-explanatory bristlenose pleco care guide. Would recommend watching it if you're in the market for a bristlenose pleco. Anyways, back to the video. I know it looks ugly right now, but that palm tree, it's fading, it's kind of fading, so we're replacing it. The reason it's in right now is because the pleco, my bristlenose pleco, I took it out, but then I saw him go from this skull, and he swam. You know how, like, when plecos are exposed to the light, they swim really fast, because that's plecos. They always prefer hiding, and they, if, unless your light's off, they don't really prefer it when it's dark. Yeah, well, that's basically what happened. So he swam right where it would be, and it wasn't there, so I kind of felt bad for him. So, you know, I had to put it back in. I'm going to get some sort of rock to replace that with. Now also, if you're wondering, guys, why I do so many changes on these tanks, my tank has been the same for three years, but I had a lot of plans for my tanks that I thought would be interesting to share with the internet, and I started my YouTube channel to share with you guys my gravel change and just overall changing the look of my tanks and just way more stuff to help you guys out with keeping your fish. Anyways, so yeah, I know it does look ugly at the moment. I will replace it with just some average, you know, just some sort of rock that my Pleco can use so he doesn't get stressed out. Now, anyways, I'm going to talk about actually some factual stuff like actually adding your plants in. Now, adding plants in isn't anything too bad. These plants didn't have any dust come off them. Like, uh, when I added them in my gravel and I cleaned it out, it had so much dust on it that it almost looked like I pulled it straight out of sewage. But, you know, that's gravel, that's different. You just clean it off and, you know, it's all good. This stuff, it didn't have any dust on it, but I still cleaned it off because I, I would recommend doing that, you know. I wouldn't recommend just, even though this stuff doesn't really have much dust on it when you buy it, I still would recommend doing it because I don't want to encourage anyone buying something. Next thing you know, it has so much dust on it that it looks like I pulled it out of sewage and your tank looks like sewage. So yeah, now it's just a little update on the 20. If you're wondering, all my fish are doing perfect. Um, my uh, bristlenose pleco is doing good. Yes, that coral is faded. I'm trying to find a replacement for it. Just, uh, my idea is just to get one big rock that takes the area of that and that. Just so, you know, because he loves these things, so I can't really take them out because it just makes him feel safe. I'm trying to find some sort of replacement for them today. I just got some new plants. Anyways, on to my tent because it does have an updated uh, film too. As you can see, all three of my neon tetras are doing absolutely beautiful. I also did get a new plant for that tank as well. Mainly because it was $2 when we were there. And I did take out the orange rock. If you're wondering where the orange rock is, because it's certainly not in the 20 gallon. I had to clean it off. It had a lot of algae. I, I told you. I had that thing where I put it in my 20 gallon tank and the bristlenose pleco ate it. That orange rock was such a tough surface that I just figured it would be best to take a toothbrush that's never been used before. And, you know, or you could use a toothbrush that's just been used in tanks or never used before. Wouldn't recommend using a toothbrush that you've actually used for your teeth or anything else because that could probably get a ton of germs on your rock and kill your fish when you put it back in. So I just used a toothbrush, and I I would I, yeah I could yeah I would recommend doing this, but it's not guaranteed to work. I filled up my green tank that I used for acclimating. It's like a critter box almost, and I filled that thing up with ice and cold water. Now I live in the east side of America, on the north side of America, so it's and it's also it's January, so nothing really is going to get cold in there. So nothing's really my cold stuff isn't going to warm up. 
So, I mean, if you lived in California, that would kind of be a problem. Uh, if you lived in California, you probably just could put your rock on, like, your deck or really anywhere that gets a lot of sunlight and watch um, all of your algae get burned off by the sun. Those are just some ways to clean algae off of rocks would recommend doing them as my experience with those methods have been great so anyways guys that was just a short update video also with some factual info information like or dislike this video preferably subscribe and eat another pickle